Welcome to Codefish Quick Bytes, where I show you in five minutes or less how you can implement any of those plugins behind me and other features into your Codefish pipeline. Let's go! So, before we do anything else, we have to set up your Codefish account. So, let's head over to the Codefish main site and hit sign up. Now, I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in with mine, but you can use any of the sign up options to create your account. Now, once you sign up, you're on the main account page. We can't create a pipeline just yet because we have to add a container registry, such as the Docker Hub. So let's go ahead and do that. Go on account settings. We go on Docker registry, add registry provider. You can add any of those as well as other registries, such as the GitHub container registry. However, we're going to add our Docker Hub. We name it registry, you can name it anything else. And we provide our username to our Docker Hub and our password. Now let's go ahead and test the connection to make sure everything works. Awesome, that's it, safe. And we can close this down. Now at the beginning you will have a pro plan and here's the expiration of your pro plan. If you're curious to learn more about Codefresh, I highly recommend to schedule a demo with Maya or someone else from the team. Let's go ahead and remove that and build our first pipeline. So we're going to go ahead and click on pipeline, create pipeline. We name it Python first. No, you can name it anything else. And we're going to select our Python project. The link to the GitHub repository with the project is below. So you can also clone that and just follow along directly with the project. Now hit create. Now this is going to create a simple Codefresh YAML file with the steps to your Codefresh pipeline. You can modify the steps right here. You could also go ahead and select uh, the YAML file from the repository if you already have one um, or from the URL. Um, now generally you can use this out of the box but we have to make sure that it uses the right image name. So now we change that, we hit save and we run our pipeline. Now this is going to run our pipeline and we can follow along here in the output section. Note that when you run the pipeline for the first time, it might take some time. However, Codefresh has about five different caching options. So the next time it's going to take about half of the time than before. Now we're going to fast forward to when the pipeline has finished building. So, zoop. so now it's just finished the last step. And as you can see, the pipeline executed perfectly on its own. So <laughs> that's great. And then we can go ahead and open up our Docker Hub. Docker, Docker Hub. The Docker Hub. And we should see our image. Here. Python example. Awesome. It worked. Now, this is it for now. In the next Codefresh QuickBinds, we are going to look at different notification systems that you can implement into your Codefresh pipeline. If you liked it, hit like and subscribe. And I hope we see each other next time.